Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is a small account strategy that you could use to grow your account through options. So stay tuned. I'll share with you some insight in this episode. All right. So if you're looking to grow a small account when it comes to trading options, there's a lot of different strategies out there. But there's only a handful that I find work fairly well. And it really, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and I'll share with you kind of one of those insights. Uh, but before we do, if you're new to trading options, what I would do is check out our getting started with options guide on the website at tradersfly.com. There's also a, a lot of freebies in the freebie section for a free uh, option trading mini course and uh, plenty of other courses out there if you really just wanna dig deeper into uh, trading options. So with that being said, uh, one of the uh, strategies that I find that uses a little bit of capital to potentially give you big returns is the butterfly strategy. And you can make these kind of bullish. So let's say a stock has been going down for quite some time. So if we look at Airbnb, it's been going down for quite some time and you're expecting it to kind of pop and I'm putting one on a little bit at the higher price point. Um, you could give it, you know, 20, 30 days or so and look for a little bit of, uh, you know, downside. Uh, we've got this downside action and now we're sideways consolidating. After that sideways consolidation, if you're looking for a pop, it could be waiting for a moving average, some other indicator, the volume, the price action, a lot of things beyond that. But setting up a butterfly strategy, what it allows you to do is risk a tiny bit of capital. Uh, to potentially make uh, a lot or a one-to-one -one return on your investment. So if you look at this strategy, this is risking 2140 so about $2,100, to potentially make, if it pops, uh, about 2000 So what I'm risking is kind of what I'm looking to make. Now, if it just kind of hangs out and does nothing and maybe pulls back a little bit, I could be risking about $1,000. Um, so that's something you have to be okay with because if it stands still, you are losing about $12 a day. But what's cost effective on these butterflies is let's say you don't even have an account size that big and you just want to go in and risk even uh, less. Let me go in and do something that's opposite of that trade. I'm gonna put on just a single contract here. So there's a single contract and there we go. What I can do is set something up like this where I'm only risking $96. So check that out. I'm risking $96 and then if this pops, I could make uh, about $90. Even if it pops a little bit, I can make $60. And my time decay rather than buying single options is virtually zero. I mean, it's it's about 60 cents that I'd lose, 68 cents that I'm losing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I could risk a very small amount to even just get the practice in of doing butterflies. So how do I do this and set up this construction? You could do this on anything like, let's say, a Home Depot that's now pulled back quite a bit and you're looking for it to pop. Let's say you want to set up a butterfly at around a 330. We'll say, hey, well, maybe it hangs around here for 10 days and it takes it five days to go up, so that's about 15 days, and I give it a little more time, call it 20, 30 day option, um, at around the 330, what I can do is go to Home Depot, go to about a 30 day option, go to the 330 level, buy the butterfly, and now I've got this option strategy here, and what I can do is risk about $17 on this trade. Look at that, I could do it so cheap. Now yes, commissions do cost and, and so forth. So uh, it, it does add up. So here I'm looking to risk about 16, but if it goes up, make about four plus the time decay. So maybe about $7. So it's not a lot, but if you start spreading out these wings, uh, 325 and I start going this one, 335, now I'm only risking $48. It's kind of like a little lotto ticket, as you can see to potentially make maybe about 20. So, you know, with a few days of, of time decay and then it goes up, so I'm risking about 48, I could make about 30. So that's some pretty good return, right? If you're risking about, well now it's 51, to maybe make about 30, it's almost a one-to-one -one return on your investment. Bump that up to more contracts. Let's say you're risking, let's just say $1,000, where are we, we're at 600. So let's say we're going boop, 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 about, a little bit less. There we go. About a thousand dollars right there. There's a thousand dollars that I'm risking. My theta is about a one, so I'm not really losing on options. If you were to buy an option contract, uh, but now I'm risking a thousand dollars. If it just pops a little bit, you could make about five hundred dollars. 
okay if it pops a little more you can make 600 and if it takes uh, you know an extra week or two to do it um, you could make a one-to-one, -one, a thousand dollars on your return of a thousand dollars. So um, it just depends with time. The longer it takes uh, for that um, spread to kind of go there, and if it go, it's just going up slowly and grinding. That time decay will keep working in your favor, um, and then it keeps grinding up, and it keeps grinding up, and it keeps working in your favor, and that's the time decay working in your favor. So if it just takes its time to go there slowly you could be in a very profitable position. And in fact, you might even get, um, you know, this is kind of rare, but let's say you could make actually $4,000 right here if it's crossing through um, a nice point on your $1,000 of risk, it could be up $4,000, four times your investment. Again, that's very rare, it's not likely, uh, but it's possible. So anyways, that's what I wanna show you is that you could just risk something very lightly where you go, hey, one contract risking about 50 bucks and it's not a lot uh, to be able to play and trade these kinds of strategies so anyways that's what I want to share with you uh, check out the courses that we have um, you can look at the coaching single sessions or mentoring even one-on-ones where we work together on a longer time period like uh, five six months uh, with options or the getting started ones as well so uh, if you want to grab some of those freebies click the link right over here subscribe to the channel or check out more great videos here on the side. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you in the next video.